Capricorn, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Welcome back and thank you for all your support throughout last year. And as we go into the new year, I'm just so excited to share this new year with you. Capricorns, this is for your sun, moon, rising sign. Wherever Capricorn energy influences your chart, you can apply these energies. This will be a full tarot card spread. I will flip the camera around so we could review the, card, the cards together. And then there is a choice always below if you so choose. Um, in the description box below, there is a link to an extended video where I have a full tarot card spread that really digs into this reading and also the romance reading. For the next seven days, these energies will influence or impact wherever Capricorn influences your chart. So Capricorn, for the next seven days, your crowning energy is already out. Capricorn energy for the next seven days. 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 That's a lot of cards. I don't know if I really want all those cards on the table. So that's a lot. It's a lot. It's okay. Um, I think it was Scorpio that got a big reading too. So let's do this, Capricorn. Be fearless and bold. This is Aries energy. Focus on who you are. Focus on loving yourself. Focus on dialing yourself up. If you if you if you gotta fake it till you make it, so freaking what this week? Sometimes confidence has to start from the outside and then it works its way in. So that's sort of these energy right now, you know, put on the Ritz if it helps you remind you how freaking fabulous you are. This is walking into the room demanding people's attention because you know that you're worth the attention. This is somebody who just commands the energy of the room because they have such a heightened sense of self-worth that there's no way, shape, or form anybody is going to get them down from that high horse, not necessarily high horse, no one's going to take them down from the pedestal they put themselves on. Nobody can knock you off because this is you flying high on your own wings, not somebody else's. So, uh, and this is you showing people that you know that you're valuable, that, that you know that you're worth it. So Capricorn, if you have been hesitating or delaying sending out those resumes or sending out those invitations to something or making communication or no, this week is the week to do it. Just go ahead and get, it's not about taking a leap of faith. Mm -mm. This is about loving who you are so much that this is a good week for you to dig in and find that confidence in and of yourself. And like I said, if it's not inside yet, you can put it on the outside. You could start. It's not about being fake. It's about doing what you need to do to make yourself feel as good as you possibly can make yourself feel because this is the energy of you've got to move forward. Aries, is, Aries energy is all about pushing forward, moving forward. So this is time for you to make progress, Capricorn. And I feel like the cosmos is going to be helping you. You're going to be energized. It's like super turbo power seven days for you, Capricorn, where you feel really, really good about yourself. So it's not like it's coming from a fake place. It's actually coming from a very true place, a very, um, if you will, I want to say grounded because this is bigger than grounded, a very destined place, um, spiritual place of fulfillment and fullness. This is the time to move forward. So this is a time of progress, Capricorn. And this is your energy, Capricornian energy, doing things by the law, doing things the right way. This has changed. Two plus three. Two plus three is five. There's change that's going to come. And I think it's going to come down. There's something that's being, there's a decision that's being made by some sort of institution. Could be a government institution. Could be a courtroom. Could be the military because of the eagle. Um, United States government or anything that's traditional. Traditional structures. Something that is about the law. About law and tradition. This is very Capricorn Saturnian energy coming in to help you out and guide you and be there for you. What did I say? This is in the cosmos this week. It's spirit has your back. In other words, the, the energies are aligned for you, Capricorn, to be able to be chosen, to be selected, to really stand out and make progress because of the way that you do things is exactly the way things need to be done to get far this week. Sometimes life stings. Come heck or high water, 
um, you're going to push forward. I feel like this has to do with still hurting something, a little, a little something still hurts, but you see it's pain coming to an end. Six plus four is 10. 10 is the completion of a very painful cycle. Capricorn. The completion of a very painful cycle is coming to an end. It could be melancholy that, that there is, that there's hurt, that something is finishing. Um, it, even though the news has been triumphant, there's almost a pang of sorrow that it's over. Um, because I feel like this marks, it, it just marks a significant time in your life for something to have ended, um, or for something to, um, something to be happening or to have even even to have to adhere maybe very strict or in other words to push forward even though you know smile though your heart is breaking smile um even though it's breaking like there's this energy of of just doll it up and get back out there uh, it's a you know yes it's maybe it still hurts but you got to keep moving forward like push through push through that's the energy of push through freedom is yours you know this could have been a divorce a divorce that was decided this could have been a breakup that was made this could be um some sort of um it, this wasn't a surprise this isn't a surprise these are proceedings that have been happening for quite some time and they're finally finished and over with now there could have been a bit of a sacrifice that you had to make in terms of you know compromise in terms of this decision but it liberated you and that's what money can't buy that's this feeling of 33 there it is three is out again this feeling of 33 equals six this could be just freedom from a love affair freedom from the pain that came afterward freedom from the pain I, I feel like that's what it is freedom from the plank clear out the clutter there's maybe maybe this is what you're doing this week is you're getting rid of old stuff you're figuring out what goes and what stays you're divvying up those things that you've held on to for too long after a situation was over and that's what's painful right is going through their stuff why is there stuff still hanging in your closet of what, what to sell downsizing moving out of a house that you shared together this energy of yes life is moving on and you're finally free but there it was pain it was there's still a painfulness painfulness to letting go a painfulness to um being able to release the past this is a a very matured cancerian energy the energy of somebody who is ready to leap forward into the new parts of their life but they can't leap unless they let go and they've got to let go they've got to let that clutter sink in order for them to move on so this really is the time of motion freedom is yours it's time to move on drop that pearl drop that fear drop whatever you've been holding on to now is the right time to make your move time for a deep dive this is love this is understanding love it's time to clear out this clutter or this disappointment from past loves and past hurts it's time to take care of your heart capricorn it's time to make a deep investigation into what is aching what is paining you um it could very well be that something has finally been solved like a breakthrough has finally been made um, if you're actually experiencing actual real pains, uh, like a breakthrough is going to be made, some deep tests are going to be taken and revelations are going to occur. But this is an energy of true and passionate, very Venetian type of, of, of love, um, very decadent. So this is having to do with the heart, very sangreal, very blood, very, very uh, sensual, sensual energy. So it has to do either with your actual intimate physiology or it has to do with a love that was very, very deep, a heart, a heart, an attachment that was very, very deep that you're now letting go of so that you can be free of it because you need to be free of it to move on. And truth transcends illusion. So there's something here that came out that allows you to let go. And that's probably what stings. A message comes in, the truth is revealed, and the sting of it is going to hurt, but it's also in a wonderful serendipitous kind of turnaround it's going to um it's going to it's going to hurt but then it's going to make it easier for you to let go it's going to make it easier for you to be like why the f did i hold on to this for so long and that's that double-edged sword right that's that blessing that silver lining uh be generous of spirit 
looking forward, feeling great about yourself. These are two energies that remind you of self-love, self-power, self-empowerment, courage to move forward. This is um, fire energy and fire energy is all about the future. What is the future? The future is what you're making of it. So what are you making of it? And which direction are you taking? This is the energy of Leo. Leo and moving forward. Um, um, moving forward in truth, moving forward without fear, having tamed that inner beast, having tamed the beast, having tamed the hurt and the sorrow and being able to move on and feel really, really good about yourself. This is all about progress. Do you see? It's like this was about pain and now this is about progress. So you got a better sense of yourself a clearer sense of yourself and a clearer sense of direction because of the pain that was caused to you. It's almost like you were redirected onto a path that was much better for you. And you finally get your sense of self back. This is trust in divine detours. What did I say? You were redirected. This is Sagittarius energy, also forward progressive energy. But this is if life throws you a lemon, duck because you don't want that to hit you in your head you know what i'm saying it's like you can pick it up later after it's hit the ground <laughs> and then this is energy of life threw something at you or might be throwing something at you this week that is actually there the reason why it's being thrown at you is to redirect you so i'd love to see in the comments below how you're getting redirected but there is a sense of redirection happening something in your life was out of balance and it needed to be put back in balance this is libra energy once again um you could be making contact with a libra somebody coming in out of the blue to deliver a message a message coming in or revelations being made out of the blue something flying in though that gives you peace that helps you that it's a it's a good it's divine intervention it's a good redirection this is good stuff it's like spirit coming in to sort of swoop down and like save your life right redirect you away from the dam up ahead you thought you were on the right track but it was actually leading you to destruction and this detour as irritating as it may have been was actually a good thing and i feel like that good thing is going to be revealed this week or you're going to be at that at that juncture where you have to smear off and you'll learn soon enough that it was for the right reasons tend to the small things yeah, you've been letting something build up for too long and I feel like the dam has broken and it needs to be dealt with this week. So this is the cleaning things up, clearing out the closet. Um, maybe having those, <laughs> have my best friend's Capricorn, she's always having tag sales in the middle of the winter, she'll have a tag sale. So clearing out the closet, um, um, getting rid of that stuff that is just is just bogging you down. There's also sort of an infestation that's been happening. Could be emotional infestation. It could be an actual infestation. Something that has been building. Clutter has been building. Where you see one mouse, there's four within the wall. The 400 within the walls. This is the energy of too much has been building. You've been ignoring this for too long. What is the truth and what is the reality? Even if it's an ugly truth, it's going to have a beautiful outcome. Um, turn knowledge into wisdom. So this is something coming out of the dark. This is how let the moon talk to the moon. Acknowledge it. Let the moon show you the light. This is something hidden in the dark being revealed. And you're going to take what you learn and turn it into wisdom. So it's not just about something that you know, because something you know just stays in your brain. But wisdom actually gets into your heart. You take it into and allow it to transform you and, and make you into something else because you've actually learned from the circumstance. You don't just know it, you've actually learned from it, which means you've integrated it into your own personal story. So this is definitely something that A, needed to come out and needed to be revealed, and now you can actually take it and do something with it, and that's exactly what you'll be doing this week. Overcome any obstacle. This is Taurus energy, very complimentary energy to you. You're gonna be able to get through this. This is, for me, this is the card coming through to Capricorn saying, Capricorn, you're gonna be able to get through this. There's nothing that you can't overcome in fact that's sort of your energy this week isn't it there is nothing that you can't overcome that nothing that you hear this week is going to get you down you're just going to keep that little crown on your horn and you're going to keep bulldozing forward you don't even care you don't care if you're the bull in the china shop you love it 
You love it and you're just going to festoon yourself in beautiful flowers because you love everything about who you are. You can't, and I feel like it's that self-confidence that is going to be your way through any kind of mess that comes towards you this week. And the mess isn't something that I think is going to sideswipe you. For me, there's this sort of this intuitive knowing, knowing that something, something wasn't right, something was missing, something had to be explained, and now the explanation comes, and as much as it stings, it's going to liberate you, make your dreams real. This is weaving your own future, deciding what the future is going to look like, being the master of your fate and your destiny. And then this is your grounding energy. Grounding energy, be at home. So be very close to home. This is the heart chakra energy. Yeah, of just what makes you feel good. Stand by, this is more grounding energy. What makes you feel good? What makes you feel right? Um, maybe even staying close to your home this week because it's important for you to be around there. Um, uh, not letting anything superfluous get in your way or make you feel obligated to pay attention to it instead of the stuff that really matters to you. Trust in the great mystery. You're taking the deep dive. You're taking the plunge. You're taking a deep breath because you're ready to go under. You're, ready, you're not going under, but you're, I mean, maybe, maybe some of you is having surgery. This could be major heart surgery too, but this is the time when it needs to happen. This is a good time for it. This is just like going under, going deep, going under the surface. You're ready for it. Maybe you're ready for that deep dive into your heart. Um, um, the deep dive into the understanding of your heart and hold on. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't know if sneezes mean something. I feel like they do. That's like an important message type of thing. I, I know it means I have allergies. That's what it means. So I apologize, Capricorn. But this is an energy of dive really deep. This, You know what? You have been putting something away. You've been hiding. Some, I think it's you or somebody else, but I feel like it's you. You've been hiding a hurt. You've been hiding a disappointment. You've been really trying to like suppress it and maybe push through it. And now I feel like you're going to like be a blubbering mess out loud and cry out loud and push through it. Really, like really the truth of the matter, pushing through it. Now this is believe in yourself and let yourself shine. What does it say? This is your grounding energy and your crowning energy of fake it till you make it. Maybe it starts from the outside and goes inward. And now this is going inward and seeing that you are something that it, you are someone that is valued. Um, letting yourself be heard, being heard, a light being put onto you, you being in the spotlight. Like I said, from the beginning of the reading, way in the beginning of the reading, you being in the spotlight, the spotlight shining on your hard work, somebody really taking notice of you this week. And hold on, I'm going to turn the cards around. Um, I, I'm going to turn the camera around. That's what I meant to say. Uh, remember Capricorn, shine bright like a diamond, shine bright like a, I feel like that's what I'm going to name your reading. Shine bright like a diamond. Diamonds only form under tremendous amounts of pressure. And I think that that's what this week is going to really be symbolized by, especially since you're an earth energy and diamonds are formed deep, deep in the earth. This is an energy of, yes, you've been under a lot of pressure. Yes, you've been under a lot of stress, but look at the beauty that it's created. Look at how beautiful it is. And that's actually, this is actually the energy of somebody shining, look at, shining the light on you, shining the light on what you've created and what you've planted. This is somebody recognizing that you are a diamond in the rough, realizing it, putting a spotlight on it, recognition of that. Okay, let's see who it is that's going to recognize you, where you will be recognized. Let's see um, the energy of just, how this is going to progress and move forward. Uh, <clears throat> what is this breakthrough coming? Let's see. I'm also going to pull your uh, romantic tarot as well, Capricorn. The link is below in the description box. I will see you guys over there.